Mr. Speaker, I beg to move for second reading a bill entitled Income Tax Amendment Act. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this amendment to the Income Tax Act, Mr. Speaker, is actually an amendment to emphasize and to re-emphasize the philosophical position of the government of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. A philosophical position that puts people first and a philosophical position that says that there must be opportunity for all and those who are who receive less are not unduly disadvantaged, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you may know that any contractor who gets a $10,000 contract with the government, when he goes to the, in a, the Treasury Department, 10% 10, 10 is deducted from his earnings. So if he gets a legal contract for $5,000 to cut cut some grass or to clean a drain, when he gets his when he goes to the treasury, the government takes five hundred dollars. So he gets four thousand five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean Mr. Speaker, the, 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 the margins are very small in these small ten thousand dollar jobs. The margins are very small. And contractors complain all the time that even though, even though they get a job, they get nothing from the contract. Because they are charged 10% by the government before they pay their workers, etc., Mr. Speaker. So we decided, Mr. Speaker, that we would exempt payments of $10,000 and less from the 10% deduction, Mr. Speaker. I mean, this also brings us to line, brings it to line, brings it to line with the deductions made by ordinary employees. Because nobody in this country who gets less than $2,000 a month, $24,000 a year, pays any taxes. You pay no income tax, Mr. Speaker. If you get less than $24,000 a year, you, pay, you, you don't pay any taxes. And when you add your allowances, it comes to $25,400. You pay no taxes. So when a contractor who gets two contracts for $10,000, per year, he actually pays $2,000 tax, right? And the ordinary, employ the, ordinary the employee, the ordinary employee who gets the same $24,000 doesn't pay any taxes, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, we fought, and these small contractors, many of them do not get more than two, two contracts per year. For less than for more than ten thousand dollars, they don't get it, Mr. Speaker. These contracts are small contracts, five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars, sometimes three thousand dollars. And for three thousand dollars, to take up ten percent from it, we get a person two thousand seven hundred dollars, Mr. Speaker. We thought that it was unfair, and this is what this amendment is all about, Mr. Speaker. That doesn't mean that when contractors graduate, they don't have to file their, their, their taxes, Mr. Speaker. So all payments, and if that is converted to the private sector, Mr. Speaker, yeah. when the private sector gives out a list of people who have been paid for the for the trunk contracts that they do, Mr. Speaker, the adequate provisions would be made if from the private sector. So if the private sector follows, they must ensure that they send that list to the inner revenue so that the appropriate deductions can be made, made Mr. Speaker. This for, for musicians, for anybody of this nature. If you pay less than ten thousand dollars, you have to take out the ten percent tax, income tax. And then when you send in the return, the appropriate adjustments are going to be made in the speaker. So we thought that was a measure to assist the ordinary person who has a, a little job for $5,000. You take out $500 from it. Sometimes they make nothing on it in the speaker. But that, that's a bigger picture. The Ministry of Infrastructure is in the process of preparing a sort of analysis to show what percentage would be labor and what percentage would be materials for, for jobs, even jobs more than $10,000, but within a, a particular threshold, Mr. Speaker. So this is, again, another move by this government, Mr. Speaker, to 
give people income relief from income tax. Ten thousand dollars and below. Ten thousand, nothing above ten thousand dollars. That's the question. The five thousand, and that's a very good question. What will happen to him now is that the his records are going to be in revenue. He has to file his return. He has to file, and when he files, then the program just sent to the mail. So, Mr. Speaker, this is what the amendment is all about to assist small people who get these small contracts without paying taxes in the first instance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.